In the world of crystals, perfect symmetry and regular repeating patterns were once thought to be the unbreakable rules of nature. But in Han 82, material scientist Dan Schechtman observed something that would shake the foundations of crystallography, a material with ordered patterns that never exactly repeated themselves. Schechtman had discovered quasi-crystals, structures that exhibit ordered arrangements with symmetries once thought mathematically impossible in three-dimensional space. Unlike regular crystals with their perfectly repeating lattices, quasi-crystals follow mathematical rules similar to Penrose tilings creating ordered but non-periodic structures. The crystallography community initially rejected Schechtman's findings, with double Nobel laureate Linus Pauling famously declaring, there are no quasi-crystals, only quasi-scientists. Despite the ridicule, Schechtman persisted until his work was validated when natural quasi-crystals were discovered in a meteorite in 2009, proving these structures could form spontaneously in nature. Quasi-crystals fundamentally changed our understanding of matter, expanding the definition of crystals to include structures with ordered but non-periodic arrangements of atoms. Beyond their theoretical importance, these unusual materials have found practical applications in non-stick coatings, surgical instruments, and LED technology due to their unique properties. Schechtman's persistence was ultimately rewarded with the 2011 Nobel Prize in Chemistry cementing quasi-crystals place in scientific history and demonstrating how challenging established paradigms can lead to revolutionary discoveries. Today, we understand that quasi-crystals can be explained as three-dimensional projections of higher dimensional lattices, revealing that nature's patterns can be far more complex and beautiful than we once imagined.